Greetings tankers, my name is Adam Snellgrove and welcome to Best Replays, your dose of everything World of Tanks on a Saturday morning. Which you could also use as an alarm clock should you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. Or possibly snatch a super secret code should you be quick enough. So let's get straight into it. Let us get underway with Amicus Fidelis in the VK3601H heavy tank. On Ensk in a bottom tier battle. Yeah, I foresee this being slightly rough for our hero. But undeterred with such trivial things as matchmaking, Amicus pushes onwards. Right? That's a lot more aggressive approach than I expected to see. And it looks like the King Tiger Sea has had enough of our shenanigans. Yeah, I bet you you're regretting that move now. Hey, not bad! Picking up the kill on the Tier 8 Skoda means the town has been won, largely thanks to Amicus. Would you look at that! A Duggan Tier 8 tank destroyer? With very little side armor! Easy prey as long as it's not aiming our way. Whoa! Where did you come from, little buddy? Away with you! But in just a few minutes, the tables have turned massively. It is Amicus and the Lynx standing alone against six enemies. Oh, that was close! Oh, a big misplay by the KV2, pushing the LT out of cover. And a one-for-one one trade where the Lynx is taken out, but so is the LT. That's the 107mm gun that the KV is using, meaning Amicus is in no danger of getting one shot. Oh, and the KV misses its shot! This is our chance! That has to spell the end for the KV! Ooh, that was close! A stark reminder that there's still three enemy artillery pieces in play. Or two, if you put it that way. Look, there's another one! Not sure what that attempt was, but Amicus certainly won't mind taking the kill. Ouch! The M12 is not kidding around though. But on the bright side, this tracer just revealed its position. Just like that. And a lovely kill shot to secure the victory. GG, a nice little tier 6 game to start off this week's showcase. Amicus Fidelis stood up against multiple tier 8 opponents and came out on top. Not only that, but also scored the elusive Pools medal, together with 4,566 damage, 7 kills and 2,131 base experience. We love watching these bottom tier games and thus we award you Amicus Fidelis, 2,000 gold and our style. Congratulations! Staying with the same tier, we've got the most unlikely of platoons. A trio of 87s of all tanks. 
with the three British Musketeers being Game Doers, Nojus51 and Master's Hero who submitted this replay. Strolling into position at a leisurely 20 km per hour. Because what other spot would you pick to socialise with your mates and chill out? Ah, nothing like an open field, warm Prokhorov Cabris and an occasional enemy scout to keep things interesting. Well, there's the entertainment gone. What now? Only one thing left. 87s, full speed ahead. Charge! Hard right! Commence fire! There's too many of them, Captain! Aha! A straggler! Got to finish it off quick before backup arrives! That's incredible! How did Nojus 51 survive all those shells without taking any damage? Can't dwell on that for long as the cap is in full swing and the 87 is definitely not known for its mobility. The enemy team now sends in a super Hellcat! But it fails miserably at destroying the weakened platoon mate. Ooh, there's the capper! But there's just 25 seconds left! Masters enters the cap circle just in time to prevent the capture! And there's the Hellcat! Stuck without any solid cover! Oh no! The enemy artillery battalion finally zeroed in on Nojus 51 and Masters is now the only tank left standing. Luckily, the first arty proves to be just a passive NPC. Ouch! What the heck was that? An AP shell from the M12? And straight into the cupola? Now that's one hell of a shot. With a medkit at hand, the commander is back in time to find that final adversary. There it is! Open fire! It never gets a chance to fire and Masters is victorious! What a game! The three most unlikely tanks just completed a miracle comeback against 11 enemies, scoring a combined total of 8,600 damage and 14 kills between platoon mates. 
What started as just a meme of a match turned into one of the funniest and most dramatic replays we've had on the show. And for that, Master's Hero, Nojutsu 51 and Game Doers each received 2,500 gold and a best replay style, which I do hope they will wear with pride on their 87s. GG! For the finale, we've got the derpiest of derp cannons, the HE monster, the Caliban! The explosive British heavy tank in the hands of PJ Connor 1, right here on Ensk. Oh, I think someone might have forgotten these windows are blocked off in an encounter battle, eh? Well, in that case, this will have to. Oh, hey! All right, hold it right there. Imagine you're in a Super Hellcat. You've just bounced a shell on an HE monster and made it angry. So, what do you do next? Well, definitely don't peek side on in the exact same location. Ah. I just... Uh, why? We are back just in time to witness this lovely high explosive pen against the lower plate of a Lerva. That had to hurt. Oh, and when the lower plate did not work, this Lerva decides to try it with side armor? Interesting strategy. As is side scraping in a tier 6 medium tank with no armor against a Caliban. However, this AT-15A is a little bit of a tougher cookie. He shoots, he scores! And here we have an example of another tank attempting to bounce an HE shell on low HP. Spoiler, it doesn't work. Hmm. Oh, that doesn't look like the optimal play by the AT-15A. Sure wasn't. Now it's just two artillery and a light tank. This should be easy, right? No problem. Uh oh, Houston, we have a problem. Alright, now it's all about dodging that one single HE shell to secure the victory and a pool's medal. Oh, there we go! The M44 is caught out!
Oh no! PJ Connor is out of HE and the AP Shaloni takes off the track! But now it's the M44 with the initiative as the next shell is not yet ready. However, it also underestimates the mobility of a Caliban and this time PJ Connor does not miss. GG! What an amazing victory this was, a Caliban derping its way through the entire enemy team to secure a pool's medal. The final tally shows 6,671 damage dealt, those crucial 10 kills and 2,054 base experience. Combine that with a hilarious game and PJ Connor won rightfully gets 3,000 gold, best replay style and of course the title of best replay. Well deserved. And with that, we come to a close of another episode, dear tankers. I really enjoyed this set of replays submitted by you, and thus, I expect to see many more. Oh, do I hear? How do I submit my replay? Fear not, our instructional video with all the answers and more is in the description below. So who knows, maybe next week it might just be you on our show. Until then though, I'm Adam Snowgrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!